I'm a nobody. I didn't go to school. I'm basically nothing. How do I differ from all these thousands of other violin makers? I could never afford to have a good violin. That's what actually led me to that, because I see violins all the time, so I'll never be able to afford a nice instrument. So the only way I can get that is to make it. And that's actually the reason I started to study violin making. I thought, well, I'm gonna just make a violin. <laughs> Yeah, I've got the uh, Guarneri del Jesu. I have this as a separate Strad model instrument. And I have, this was the first instrument that I made, uh, Stradivari model, golden period. I've got Strad that I did a long time ago. That's the, from the famous, yeah, here. that was from the famous painting, the Strad painting that's supposedly Strad, which might not be him. I think I'm gonna get a Strad label and a Guarneri label done on me too. I'm gonna get, get all, all of the uh, violinists done. But the hype it's, is one of the most important ones. He has to go first. He's the king. <laughs> <laughs> this sits in the back window of a lowrider. This is a lowrider plaque. Usually this says the name of a car club. But this is one that I had made to put in this, what I call the Strad car. The mixture of interests that I have is so different so as far as the lowrider crowd and then the violinist crowd. When I mix these things, they don't know what to think. This is the switch box on it that you hit the switches. It goes up, you tap it up, and the motors send the fluid through the hydraulic. You know, I had these random different things that I do, but the violin is always going through my head. I mean, it's, it, with these tattoos and everything, that's in my skin. And there's no, there's not going away. There, it's gonna be there forever. To do something to make a, a lasting effect on the world, that's what's important. And to me, you know, there's nothing else I'd rather do. At least with the violin, it's something I can share with people and that'll be here when I'm gone. I like to put the violins outside like this in the sun. This is the way the old masters did it. That's how the violins cured and the varnish was ready. Fuck. This
this just isn't going to work. I'm going to have to build a UV booth. You know, the next one will be better, and the one after that will be better. Hopefully. Life's dangerous, you know. I'm going to take risks, like walking down your stairs to the kitchen. <laughs> Here's some more stuff I could probably sell on Craigslist. This is for cultivation of the cannabis plant, <laughs> which is an industry which I did uh, involve myself in at one time. And here is something I can actually need to sell is my CO2 tank. This would actually fund my UV booth. This is not going to help me dry violins, so eh, it's not very important to me. What are you trying to do right now? No, I just see uh, which would be the best option as far as trash cans go for my UV booth. Ah, perfect. Never used a UV booth, booth really before, you know, to cure my my varnishes. Since I never had a UV booth in the winter time, I got kind of down, and you know, I always did varnish though in the winter time, and I'm and I always had successful varnish, but it was not optimal conditions. Now that I've got the UV booth, I can just do this inside. It's going to be a hundred times better. This is how it usually goes. More solitude and quiet. You know, it's like times like the now when I can especially see on social media and see what people are doing and they're having fun and, you know, doing these things and I'm just stuck here, you know, <laughs> in the cornfield. It seems like I'm my life is just slowly draining and I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting for death. There's no... There's There needs to be something, you know... I need to stop this. I need to go out into the world, I think, maybe. So I'm going to keep, keep going on like this. doing some type of interview, I think maybe on TV. Here he is at some event, Forbes 500 Business Awards. The first time that I had found out about him, see, you know, I don't really listen to any new players. Like, I listen to the old masters, watching my usual videos. Like, see on the side, you know, it's like suggested videos. And I was like, ah. Oh. It's like, yeah, I'll listen to one of these, and I never do this. I was like, man, this guy's really amazing. So I was like, I, I found him on Facebook, and I added him, and uh, I, I reposted that video from YouTube. <laughs> some guy was, like, criticizing some part of the piece. <laughs> I was like, you know, you can go fuck yourself, dude. I was like, that's amazing. And he's like, hey, man, he's like, he's like, I really appreciate you standing up for me. I was like, no problem, man. And then after that, just became good friends with him on there. I spoke to him because he wanted an instrument to play when he didn't have his Strad. So he plays a Strad? Yeah, he plays, yeah. plays Strad. I was like, have you ever tried a Guarneri or a Guarneri model violin? And what did you think? Or have you ever tried a real one? Or, you know, he was like, my ideal violin is uh, Paganini's Canon. And I was like, oh, we could, we could do that. 
Oh, you know? I was like, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> and then he got real excited. He's like, oh, man. He's like, that would be incredible. And, you know, that's, that's like my dream. That's my favorite violin in the world. I said, I can, I can make it, man. I was, like, I was like, I can help you out. I was like, let's do this, you know? And, you know, he's really excited about this, and I'm excited about this, and I want to do this. I mean, do you believe it, or is it like, are you like... I don't know, song? man. I mean, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. You call him your friend, but you've never, you've never met him, right? No, I've never met him. I consider him, consider him he's a, I'm a pretty good judge of character. I can pick up on vibes, even though he's across the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> a great violinist could really get my career going. I could go. I need to go so that I can see the Stradivari Museum and see his tools. And the, it's the most, one of the most important things to me, actually, even more so than the instruments, is just to see his uh, construction, his tools, and uh, things that were used to create the instruments. And they're very important to me. These marks, these four marks, I see these in my dreams almost on the, on the cannon. This is always what I think about on Il Canone. Every time I, I see this, these, and then I see this, this scar, I th see these two scars. <laughs> it's like a map. Shoot. Oh, we're gonna go to the auction. That's, it's about, only 10 minutes down the road from me. It's a nice country auction, and the thing is, you never know what's going to be here. How much money do you have that you can spend? None. <laughs> yeah, I'm being loaned some money if I have to buy something, so I will we'll have to pay that back. Back when MySpace was popular, like this was like when I first got on the internet, I had never had a computer internet. And everybody would all, on there, like I had this one guy who played one of my instruments. He always called me Strad. Cause I, I, I'd always have like some shirt or something that said Strad or, you know, and he started calling me Strad. It's like I changed my name on there on, on the MySpace profile to Strad. <laughs> and it's like I had all these people, and then he, they would see him call me Strad, and then everyone else would say, hey, Strad, what's going on? You know, and <laughs> it's, like, it's like I feel like I'm, uh, I'm expected to be a fine craftsman, you know, such as Strad, since I have, like, this nickname with, all, with lots of these clients. And it's like, but I'm really more of a... Guarneri type individual, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm not as disciplined, and sometimes my work is a little bit rough, and <laughs> and uh, I have to really kind of force myself to sit down and say, okay, we gotta get it to some, you know. I'm not like a Stradivari sitting in the back room 
patiently carving a scroll. <laughs> so that's the thing that's really hard for me. It's like when I'm making a strad or a copy, a replica of a strad, it's like, it's like you're, you have to live up to his standards, you know, of, of craftsmanship. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm not even a trained violin maker. How am I going to do this? started to study and then when I got to the point where I figured out basic construction methods then I thought I wonder if I could incorporate the mystical side of my magic with my violin making. For my first studies of magic were from the books that Ray Buckland made and he's one of the first people to write on the subject. Started out small with the uh, candle magic which is one of the oldest forms of magic. I think it definitely makes a difference in what I do. I like I 100% believe that it it has affected the instruments. thing is I want to help people out in their career sometimes I, I want to help out so bad that I'm, I'm getting screwed a lot on prices but you know if I could get a decent amount like I said just a, a enough money to survive and 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 be happy is is all that's necessary you don't need to be making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars I would be happy just to survive you know I've got you know bill collectors calling every day and all this stuff and, phone bill and all these things add up and you know just to be more stable and secure would be nice and things are very unpredictable right now and you know even with the vehicle you know I have no vehicle right now other than the than the uh, car in the garage and I can't drive that you know that's not an everyday car and you know I have to get that fixed and the guy still has it and I don't know what I I've, I've still owe him money on that but I need that to just to travel to get to the doctor and you know to go to the store and you know. What, what do you go to the doctor for, Johnny? Oh, I usually go for my uh, medication that I take. Usually for my uh, psychiatric medicine that I take for bipolar bipolar disorder. It's um, something that I had, I think, for years, and uh, didn't happen. It really didn't. Uh, it was never properly diagnosed. And uh, 
usually was I was treated as having depression. And once I finally got on the right medicine and made life bearable, you know, for me it was a lot easier to function. So you guys were supposed to talk when, or what's going on? Uh, yeah, we were supposed to talk at, um, I think he said 16, 1600. Just waiting right now, and hopefully he'll write or send me the Skype so we can get going here. No, yeah, I'm sure he's really busy, you know. He's a soloist, and he's 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 got lots of things going on. So I have to understand that. Hello. Hello, hello. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. How are you? Oh, there I see you. <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> yeah, we're here. Oh, yeah, we we have, I've been preparing for uh, Il Canone. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, I yes, I've got the mold is done. It's ready to to put the blocks on and and yeah, and then get the ribs bent and yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm looking forward, you know, I'm crazy for this. Yeah, and I, I was asking, I wanted to ask you, like, what kind of sound are, are you wanting to, to achieve with, with this uh, instrument? Well, actually, my uh, goal in, in mm -hmm. performing is to have a very powerful sound because yes. uh, mostly on a G string and D string. Okay. And on a higher uh, part, mm -hmm. just to, like, um, not soft, uh, to have this kind of crystal in there. Mm -hmm. oh. I would be so happy to, uh, to have that. Yes, and you and you need you need the, an instrument like that. You do. I do. Yes. I absolutely do. Yeah. Absolutely. Do. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do it. We can well, do that for you. Be amazing. Yes. <laughs> I know that you're a great violinist, and you know, and uh, and I'm. They tell me I'm a good violin maker. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, it was great talking with you. I'm glad that we got to finally see each other. Now, tell me, now, how do I pronounce your name? Rasvan Stoika. Rasvan Strakian. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Storika. Well, I'll let you go, man. I know you got to get, get back to work and your studies. and practice. Yeah, practice. You get to the violin and I'll get back to the, back to the carving and to the chickens and farm and, you know. And, and and we'll talk to each other soon. Sure, sure, I will be here. Okay, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye. Yeah, I think it went well. It was nice to see my friend finally. So, yeah, it's gonna be a hard one to, like this name. <laughs> like I'm gonna have to like go get <laughs> Rosetta Stone or something to have to. Like, <laughs> Yeah, but I'm excited over that. I know it's, and it's like I told him, you know, he doesn't know about my spiritual practices and different things. And it's like, I already can see the end result of this. Like, I'm at the concert right now. I can see this. You know, for me, you know, a guy who sits here basically in the middle of the country, in the middle of a cornfield every day, and I work, but there's no excitement. You know, I get excited if I see a squirrel in the city anymore. So it's like, <laughs> so you can imagine how I feel right now. <laughs> like, yes, to it, 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 it it's life changing. It, it, it truly is. I'm not a great violin maker. I believe that anything that I have ever done was with the help of old masters in one way or another. I believe that they guide me when I ask them for help. 
I truly believe that. beautiful out with the sun and nice and warm out and this will be the last last of the nice weather before before it starts to get cold out and before you know it's snow it just gets freezing out here you know I mean oh in the winter time and you know especially with no heat here that's that's what the what makes it so hard you know but I survive, you know. I've done it for multiple winters. I've made it here with, with no heat. over the making of his Il Canone. Now I'm just cleaning it off. It's been up there for a long time. Change things up in here. These are permanent part of the violin and the mold is just to hold everything in place. So this is only temporarily but this is how every violin begins. So this is what is most important for my form to have the uh, proper shape. This is where the mouse came from. He got into, I mean. Okay, the mouse that went by my bed with the sound post. Okay, I'll show you the last of my sound post material. And maybe he actually could have taken the last piece of my sound post stock. Okay, see, this is it. This is the last of my sound post. So, so when I close this, it, it moves like this. Wait, up. From the fort. Now look, it's open like. He's coming up through here. He had to, he took the piece that was this, I threw it in the drawer, shut it. So he came up under here and had to have gotten that and then ran along the wall and when I was sitting in bed, ran across with the sound post in his mouth. <laughs> This is the finally the beginning though. This is the real deal. You know. It'll be warm out in springtime and There's a gap, dude. Look, look at that. Oh my God, there's no way. It looks like well, it could be. Okay. Um, this is my. Let me see here. Now let's see if we can get this. These clamps suck, man. See, look, when I tighten this, it's not even on there super tight, and it's already coming off. These suck. 
suck. These suck, man. I can't believe because I wasted like 40 bucks on these. Well, I have to cut a couple smaller things, but my bill is like 40 something bucks. Let's go for it. That's all I can do. That glue is really cold. It's not good. The joint's not good on it. It's got a big gap in it. it sucks. I want to get this damn thing out so I can get this truck working, or we won't be going up to Rogers. Sweet. Ah, better defrost. We gotta go to Rogers and uh, do the wood stuff. Definitely have to do that. I have the potential to do amazing work and do a lot of work, but when you're sitting in a, in, by yourself day after day and lonely and this and that and playing around on date sites and wasting all this time, you don't get stuff done. You know, but in like Facebook, but that's my only outlet to the world. I'm my own worst enemy, basically. It's, it's up to me. It's everything. This whole everything's up to me. I could, I could be a famous violin maker and have selling violins left and right if I have the uh, energy and drive to do it. Because I know what I'm capable of. I just need to do what I know I'm capable of. Yeah, I can get this stuff done. I mean, it's, things are going to change. This time next year, I'll have to work some magic. They'll definitely change. Yeah, I just had to make myself do it. I'm going to stop eating this fast food. Sweet. <laughs> Man, having to get borrow a car and do all that or phew, terrible. I think I'm just gonna stay here tonight. <laughs> there's nothing in there for me except, well, yeah, there's a bunch of violin stuff. I'll bring the violins out here and we can film. <laughs> I'll show you how to build a violin in the car, which I could do if I wanted to. I built a lot of stuff in bed, so I could do it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I bleeding? It's really bad, dude. The bumps and stuff. It's from the weather, man. Got to have some heat going in there. But at least now, man, now so I can go places and go up there and see Roger. So that's good. What's what's what is gonna happen at Rogers? Uh, I gotta go. I'm gonna go up there and have him uh, joint that for me. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure it's perfect. Because mm -hmm. it's gotta be, you know. I just want it absolutely, absolutely perfect. The lizard.
perfect. Yeah. Is it? Oh, sweet. Looks that way. Let's let's throw a clamp on it. And okay. See. Okay. But I, I think we've got it. Oh, that'd be great. Grab some clamps here, will you? Okay. Just uh, put some clamps on it. You have some good clamps. I bought some clamps uh, from Harbor Freight. One thing I do sometimes when I'm having problems mm -hmm. with with my joint pulling up, pull it down here. And do it in the middle. Yeah, do it right in the middle, okay. do it right on top of your joint. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the setup I use a lot. Really? Yeah, and that, you know, leave them glued overnight and you've got it. Okay. What about, it's so cold at my house, I think I should, uh... Well, you're going to have to get some get some heat because uh, your, your cold is going to damage your glue, it's going to damage your your joints. The, the advice the old guy gave me many years ago when I was just really very much of an amateur was don't be quite so uh, approximate in your work. Mm -hmm. Now you're copying, you're copying Guinera Del Jesu. Uh, Del Jesu was <laughs> almost never exacting yeah. in his work. I mean, you look at one side of the scroll and it'll be different from the other <laughs> side, all those things. But when it comes to setup work mm -hmm. and, and playability, exactness is really important. Oh, yeah. And, and when, it, when it all boils down, the player's king. Yeah. yeah you know, exactly. what, what they like, what they feel, mm -hmm. is gonna, should dictate how you work. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether you have the books on Guarneri. Uh, I wish I did. But you, you should have, uh, you know, get your hands on, on uh, the Hill Guarneri book and okay. study, study his work. Mm -hmm. The more you know about the maker, mm -hmm. the better you can approximate his work. Okay. You're, you're, still, you're still young enough to be... make an impact. Oh, I hope. <laughs> to go over like the doors on the way to the to the back uh, staircase plastic over there with the zipper to seal off the the cold air that was coming up from there and uh, put the heater in there and <clears throat> made a big difference it's like 90 percent of the air was coming up through the basement and uh, now that with that on there it's it's shut off now the room's actually starting to get warm in there so you can work on the violin you know, I can't have the glue freezing it anymore up there. Oh, fuck that way. This thing opens. Let's see. Oh, man. I can't get this twisted. It's hard to... Let me see here. Going to see my cousin. He lives in Columbus. I don't see David that much because I don't, never leave the house. I'm always in that house. And then, you know, I'll complain about it and want to get out. And then when I actually do, then it's, it's like, okay, I finally escaped it. Now I got to go right back. <laughs> you know, there's a violin shop up here. I wonder if I should go get a copy of this new Strad magazine. Here's David's car right there next to me. It's like a brother, I see, because we don't have much of a family. Are you filming me? Yeah. I know a thing or two about posing for the, for the camera. You know, I set my own pictures up. Yeah. Does my hair look okay? Yeah, I do like that. Yeah, that's good. Like, All right, maybe he could be a director. <laughs> that's my new violin maker. Slash director. Okay, so if you won, let's say, $50 million, what's the first thing that you would do? The very first thing. Okay, well now if I won $50 million, I could get a decent amount, a few good, nice instruments for that. But that would be the most important. I would live in a studio apartment if I could have a Strad. That's more important to me than...
and well, wouldn't live you in want to poverty. get a wouldn't you want to get a house? Yeah, I would, but if I had the opportunity to have a Stradivari instrument, and especially one of the great ones, I'd I'd have, rather have that than. Is that how much it would cost? Yeah, probably. Now, how much would you charge for a, for a custom violin? Isn't it like around seven or eight thousand? Well, it depends. It depends who the maker is and how skilled they are and how good the violin sounds. I mean, like modern makers are going anywhere from like I'd say like twelve, fifteen, twenty-eight, thirty, and upward thirty thousand dollars. Well, with all the labor involved, because it's he's handcrafting them. I mean, it's if you want to something. I was looking online, and the pe the sex dolls that people make are over seven thousand dollars. Some of them. So if he if somebody could charge that much for a sex doll, then he should probably at least charge ten thousand for a violin. Yes. Well, let me show you how to sit. Here's how David should sit. He should he should do do one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what we should do? I should give you a, a, t a tarot reading. Oh, that's just one of my masks. Let's see what my uh, future has in store. Just pick whatever card. Okay. Whichever card that you pick is the card that you were meant to get. You're qualified and ready to take the steps toward your desired outcome. You have what it takes to fulfill your dreams and your life's purpose. This card signals that it's time now to make your move. You can do it. Take action without delay or hesitation. Additional meanings for this card. No more preparing or procrastination. Just do it. You're a valuable and beloved person. Break big goals into smaller steps and take one step today. You know, I, I think that if you were like in a more serene setting, you would probably be a little bit more productive. Yeah, it's nice out there. I need to be around where violinists are, I think. Danny has been able to separate himself from the rest of the norm of society and listen to what he wants to do. He's trying to evolve and go past where he is. Do you concur? Yes. I'm worried about the violin and I want to get the ribs bent and uh, get the sea bouts doing and you know. The more and more I sat there, I just got nervous. I'm like, man, I need to be home. I need to be home where I'm in my workshop and working on the stuff. Like, this is very hard for me to do, to get up every day and do this. So it could be the mental stuff, it could be me, it could be the situation I'm in, I don't know. It could have been me not being disciplined enough with, with the work ethic. <laughs> this clamp sucks. Look at that. Okay. This is just split right there. I never had a problem with doing a joint. And this is just a constant. Yeah, I can't believe I destroyed that. I can't use this. This, this wood is useless now. How did that happen? from clamping it too tight, I'm sure. And the wood's destroyed now. That was from 96. Can't believe I did that. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. And I can't tell that dude again, oh, hey man, for, this, for the fourth time, you know, joint these plates again after I fucked them up. Oh, it sucks so bad. This is a disaster and this has costed so much money and time. I hate to have to do that with that beautiful piece of spruce. It's a resonant light piece, and I, I, I'd hate to have to do that, but it's a bad spot that that crack is in. So I might have to start over with a new top plate. This bending iron is junk. I should be able to drop a water on here and have a bead pop off of it, but it's, I've had this and used it for years. There we go.
How does it feel to think that this could possibly happen now? No, it's, it's unreal. I, I, I'm so used to being out here in the middle of nowhere. And to go from that to Amsterdam, that's, it, it, it can't get any better than that. You know, I figured, I was thinking I might live the rest of my life and never have seen Europe or any, ever see any part of Europe. So that's, that's pretty incredible. It makes me, I feel totally different. It, it's, 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 it's really strange. It's like almost in a way, even though I know I'm successful to a point, it's like I felt like almost like there's no hope. It's like this, it's like if this happens, it's like then I can prove to myself like I can do more and this is, is not it. Like there's more waiting for me. I just have to, I have to go out there and, and do what I have to do. I think I belong somewhere else. I, I need, let's have Ratzvan practice, okay? Uh, Ratzvan? Okay. Ratzvan. I need to record myself and listen. Rat, Ratzvan. It's not easy. Ratzvan. Ratzvan. Oh, man, I gotta get this shit right. This says, please detach and retain this instruction sheet for your records. Okay, so I need to keep this. U.S. passport book, U.S. passport card. Which one do I want, the book or card? Or both? For faster processing, you may request expedited services. Expedited, I wonder how long this can take. If you desire overnight delivery service for the return of your passport, please include Appropriate fee with your payment. Oh, man, I wonder how much that is. Please print legibly using black ink only. Can't believe I did that. Well, I'm gonna have to print another one of these because I screwed it up. The photograph must be taken in normal street attire without a hat, head covering, or dark glasses. So I can't hide, I can't wear my scarf. It's not good. See, I have to, have to see my hair. I don't like that. No. Okay, so here's the size of the picture I need to get, two by two. Staple, staple, staple. Okay, I see. I can, t I can take the picture myself then with my camera, with the camera. So I'll just take the picture myself. I hope it doesn't look like shit. There we go. Sweet. Passport. You gotta do the passport process. Yeah, I've never been outside of the country before. No, never have been. So this will be my first time getting a passport. Yeah, I'd, I would rather not take an airplane. If I could take a boat to Amsterdam, I would, but that, that would cost a fortune and take forever. Uh, I probably need to get over the airplane fear anyway. We're in Logan, Ohio. This is where we're going to for the passport. So, it's not down there. Oh, here it is up here. With the flag on top of it.
in here and couldn't find it. Where it's at. Look at this old gouge. This is really old one. It needs to be actually that's a pretty nice one. I think I'm just gonna use this hammer and hope that I don't mess anything up. I am going to the rib garlands done and the uh, the uh, back plate is done and I'm going to knock the ribs out of the mold so I can glue them to the back. This is scary. Oh boy. I think this is going to be a fucking pain in the ass. I broke the hammer. Oh, that's not good. That was scary taking that out there for a minute. I didn't know if I was going to break it. I haven't broke one yet doing that, but still. So that's why I thought, man, and that's something that would happen too right at the end. Yep, that sits on there about perfect. So after about three hours or so, or a couple hours, I'm going to take this, these clamps off just to check it real quick, just in case I have some peace of mind. What is in there? Are you fucking serious? Dude, my fucking, look at what was in there. My good books. We're sitting in this bag out here. Moon magic? Man. My good Fritz Chrysler book. And this is sitting outside in a bag. What the fuck? I can't believe this was sitting out here in the in a trash bag on the porch. Man, that's terrible. I can't believe, let me set this stuff inside. I can't believe my Fritz Chrysler book was out there. That's really messed up. Okay, and I set the scroll down it's in such a crazy state. No, that fell. Man. Let's see, I want to 
saturate that area where it's getting thin at. Okay, that's good. Yeah, get the big cover that area. Yeah, this is good. I had to hit the front too. See, if I keep doing this, then by the time we go to Europe, my hair will be a lot thicker. <laughs> I mean, to a point, it'll definitely make whatever hair is there thicker. Okay. This is terrible what I'm doing. People are going to see it's going to look like shit. <sighs> God, dude. Some people have told me that I'm depressed is the reason why I'm not going, wanting to go out and do as much or go out or do anything. But I haven't really been depressed because I know depression because I dealt with it for years. You know, if someone looks at you and you're not happy all the time when you have some kind of mental health diagnosis, they're going to say, blame it on the uh, disease or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't do that to a regular person and say, oh, you're not happy right now, so you must have something wrong with you. There's not really anything, you know, especially here for me to do. What reason is there for me to go out and... But if I'm going to move to a big city eventually, I'm going to have to practice on that. Back outside. It's nice out. I need to start and work more outside. If I can be awake in the daytime, then I could do that. How are things in terms of schedule? No, oh, everything's behind. Way, 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 way behind. Chickens are fighting or something down there. We do not know the cause of death just yet, but this is huge breaking news. He was an icon in the music industry. Incredible guy. You know, he recorded his first record at 19 years old, played all the instruments on it as well. And uh, just, it's, it's incredibly sad news. Brian, I just got to tell you how much I love you. He really um, is in a category uh, all his own. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Oh, cool. This, it looks wow, like shit. you've been working like crazy in here. Yeah. I, oh, God. What's this device? You won't go. Do you know a Prince died? What Prince? Prince. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what Prince? How did he die? When did that happen? Just now. Just recently. It's on the news? Yeah, look. How did he die? I don't know. Said he had the flu or something, and then he was only fifty-seven. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. That's insane. Is this the one that you had to have them glued to get back together? Yeah, you? yeah, yeah. The one that kept having a mess. It would not. It wouldn't glue. It was just was not getting a a, a perfect joint. There, I'm <coughs> finally getting it. You're getting a little buzzed. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's. Can yeah, I use this? Good. Yeah, sure. That has a. Uh, uh, turpentine or something on it. That rag you just put in your rubbed on yourself. I just put turpentine on my mouth? Yeah, you just put it on your face. <laughs> I feel stupid. So, you know what you could be doing? You could be working in a violin plant, like, making these and getting yeah. paid for it. And all those factory violins come from uh, overseas and from China. That that's those are not nothing like this. So you could make you could you could make uh, guitars and stuff probably. I don't. Yeah, no, I don't want to. That. No, I only do the violins. I'm not working. Oh, uh, we should light one of these candles. No, no, Why no, because we'll get blown up. We can't light shit. We've got alcohol everywhere. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, it will blow up and we'll be dead. That's the book for the violin that I'm making. It's in another language. Yeah, it's in Italian. Oh, they probably make them in Italy too, don't they? What? Italy's the the best. Cremona is where all the the most famous violin makers. Most Wouldn't that be sweet to visit there? 
sandpaper the enemy. All the violin makers will be running, talking shit. So can you believe that I'm 33 years old? I can't believe it. 33, yeah. Did, we did the math. 33, right? Yeah, you're so gonna... So we're 32 right now. I'm 33 now. You're 33. You're gonna be 33 next month. That's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> And just imagine, two years after that, it'll be 35. Yep. 35. 35, boy. If I don't accomplish something by then, then I might as well just give it up. <laughs> I gotta put the chickens to bed. Say it. Now my mom just got here, so we're all gonna get together and go to the Chinese. Okay, let's go. I gotta get some wine. I gotta put... Or should I? Yes. No? Should I? I should wear dress shoes. They, they, those people just had to be walking at the exact same time that she just happened to be out in the yard. I want noodles. Do I have to explain you every time I talk to somebody? Yeah. Come on. Let's go. We gotta go. Yeah. Let's go. I have time for this. <laughs> That's funny. So here's some transatlantic addiction. Uh, Danis, Manis, Tiffany's, Add it. Her car only has two seats. I th what are you doing? You sitting in the front? Do you, do I'm not sitting in the front. Like oh, you're putting your I'll grandmother in the, the damn front, front, then, because I'm not. Can't deal. Oh, that's outside. In oh, dude. We're Where's never gonna that? fucking get you know, playing around with this bullshit. That dog would be out terrorizing. It's a Midwestern idiot dialect. That's what I have. No, I don't have some damn transatlantic Stephon told whatever me that it was transatlantic. <coughs> no, I didn't. I said it was Midwestern. It's, it's, it's right totally right Midwestern. Right I know that when I went to Ireland. I had it came back it's without it, but I've got it again. What do you expect when you live here for most of your life, right? Man. In the sticks, Ohio. Man. It's a baby platypus. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Picard and Dragon. Ew, that looks gross. Fortune. On the right track means need to run even faster or get run over. Oh, okay. That's exactly your situation. Yeah. You're yeah. going to save that, right? That fortune could be You better frame wise. it. Don't save it, frame it. <laughs> yeah, see, so I got to get one for Europe. I, don't, I think that's too much. If this was one of these... Yeah, but you remember, it's on your head. I don't know. This looks like... Oh, this has something on it. This is the one for you, Daniel. Tokyo. Ro this is Rome. It. This is the one. <laughs> the international scarf. Nah, New York. That's where we're going first. I think I should get this. It's How much is that one? 20. Wow, I wish we'd have gone to Walmart. <laughs> Probably get the same thing. Yeah, and that'll there. look great in Europe. Yeah.
yeah, I got my uh, my priority mail, my passport. Oh man. <laughs> Not a very good picture. You're official, dude. Yeah, I'm ready. Ready for Europe. Oh, that's fun. Ready. Now, if only to get the violin done. <laughs> <laughs> only to get it done. That's part of the purpose of the bridge is to get rid of stuff you don't want. Oh, yeah? As well as, as, as well as transfer vibration, but if your bridge is, it, it'll fight against you if it's carrying too much stuff. Okay. There, see how close that's that fit? Yeah, that's really close. However, I don't want to just guess. You see, part of what I'm doing here is you, you raise this so that you have sort of, you're similar, sort of mirroring the, the top. I read in a very well-known mm -hmm. shop's manual, a big shop, it said, uh, their repair manual said, make sure and color the bridges well. Our customers think they sound better that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding you, the manual said that. There. Now that bridge looks, that looks good. Now. Takes on a, a nice old rich look to it. Oh my gosh, it's almost born. Tenors. Yes, very much so. <laughs> Yes, always. <laughs> always nervous. Always. You think, what, what's this going to sound like? Is this going to sound like a chunk of wood yeah. or violin? You know? Oh, here's the moment of truth. Yeah. yeah. for the first time. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's going to sound good or not. But... Hey Siri. Directions to Laurelville, Ohio. Directions to Laurelville. Thank you. Thank you. 
right, here we are. We're almost at the end, aren't we? Oh, yeah, it's almost to the end. Almost yeah. ready to go. Talk about running until the last second. Yeah, it's the split seconds. How do you let that happen, Danny? No, oh, I don't know. I'm not managing time well. We're staying up for two days at a time and then get sick and have to lose more time. Yeah, it's, it's like doing a tattoo, filling these, denting these, and filling them with the ink. This varnish because it's clear on top of here. Seal this top before I polish it. So, so tell me, how do you feel right now? I mean, Good. The back and sides are done and scroll. All i got to do now is polish it, and once that's dry, tomorrow we can polish it. And it will be done. Fuck! This sucks. Oh, this is really fucked up now. Like having some kind of interaction with it. Damn it. That's like eaten down to the... I wonder if I get it off fast. Yeah, it's like taking off the... Damn it. Never looks like it did. This I gotta be careful because I can't. This has to be a distinct. Sunday, Monday, we leave after tomorrow. And now I can't find that big brush, that varnish brush I had, because I'm gonna have to use a bigger brush to. I'm gonna have to use the brush to apply this. Because this goddamn toothpick, or whatever the fuck this is, is not doing it. If you were fucking making a, a violin for, for a, a dude that's a fucking soloist, you, you're telling me I should say, oh darn, too bad, I, I just no, fucked Daniel, up I'm this, just this violin say, that's a copy of the most famous violin in the world. It's just Oops, a... you have no idea right now. Well, Danny, I wouldn't, okay? Yeah, I you don't would. swear. You don't know. Okay? Yes, don't I do. swear. I Bullshit. I hear you swear people. before. I don't swear. Yeah, you do. I've heard I you don't. swear before. Well, you're a liar. I never do that. I yeah. might say hell and damn. Oh, I'm not a saint, it. okay? Would you or say? I don't give a fuck. Do you see this? Send, uh, you this know, has to be done. I'm I don't give a shit. It. You know what? I'm damn sick of it. I don't care. I'm sick of your damn violin. I'm sick of you. I'm okay, sick well, of this sick bullshit. Of I, well, too bad. This is my house. Do you realize why care. I'm pissed off? And you're I don't like, I care. Swear. I'm sick of it. Okay? I want some peace and quiet. I'll be glad when you get your damn violin done and then go. Me too. Good. I don't have to sit here and listen to this bullshit. You're the one creating it. I'm sitting on the porch and you bring it to me all the time. I try to get away from it. I've been in there for a year. No, I haven't. I am so goddamn disgusted. I thought this violin was done. And now I have to fucking restart the whole fucking thing. I'm sick of fucking with this thing. It's all this bullshit. Fucking thing after another with this. <clears throat> oh shit. Fuck. There it is.
How's it looking? Is it looking better? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely looks better. Even shine. Man, I hope those things polish out. Oh, man. I hope apart. that violin's ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be ready to go like the last second. No, we'll have it set. It's I finally got the varnish done on it about and then I gotta set it back up. <laughs> Look at that. that. Is cute. Intricate. That is so cute. <laughs> I cannot stand Everybody down there for the party is down there making noise, and I'm up here working still, up until the last minute. The sounds of Ohio. Now I'm going to set the post up. Set it right where we had it, where it was sounding good. Can you remember where that was? Mm-hmm. How can you tell? What's, what's the... I just remember, visually. Make sure this sound post is straight up and down. I am definitely live a guarnery lifestyle. I can tell you that much. It's not a Strad lifestyle. <laughs> you crave the Strad style. I crave the Strad style lifestyle, but yet I keep coming back to the guarnery side. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, Stefan. Hey, how are you, man? Yeah, well, yeah, good. Can I get back to my? Uh, right in there. Uh, doors, I need to put up for me. Yeah, we got a nice, real nice case for it. But it was almost it could have got destroyed easily. I'm gonna bring it down some stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you want to hear some stories about Danny? <laughs> <laughs> I am so proud of this guy. He is. He. He's a. He's really talented. Starting to rain. Yeah, it looks like we're about to have a tornado. Here so I came to see what this vinyl yeah, looks, looks like. Let's see. Looks like. Wow. <laughs> so I can compare it to the picture. Yeah, look can, at the poster. Can you open that up for me? So yeah, hold on. I'm okay, really look. curious to see. Okay, look at it. Okay, now this that's what the front of it looks like. So can you compare that? Because see all actually, the scratches and stuff? Set it, set it down next to it. Oh, see, that's amazing. That's beautiful work. Look, yeah, see, look, see that's there. Now look, this scratch is there. See that scratch? Yeah. Is there. And now look, see these things at the bottom? There's four of them, right? See one, two, three, four? Yeah. yeah I can um, see why this took so much hard work. <laughs> why when you were doing it for so long, but it actually pays off. Now see here's, there was a wax seal right there. Yeah. And when it was removed, it took off varnish. Yeah, you, re you really so went all out to make it look like it was authentically like a Strad violin. Well, well this is a Guarneri. Now, see, this oh. is the other maker, but you, you can see the front of the scroll. Yeah, okay. it seems like it would be hard. Yeah, it was. this one gave me troubles. Like, this was, I had more problems with this violin than I've ever had with anything I've ever made. Wow. This had everything that could go wrong has went wrong with this. Yeah, but it's, it's like someone was trying to keep me down from making this, and I finally... Some type of a higher power. I know, no, something <laughs> negative trying to keep me some from succeeding. Some type of a lower power. Yeah. <laughs>
It's ready. Tony. This time was ever going to come. Okay. How you doing, man? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got some snow, eh? First moment when I see oh. you guys both. After such a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I have eyeliner. Oh, I can see. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Some years ago, when I was in Geneva, I was seeing mm. this inside. Yeah. In the case. Yeah. yeah. And now it's. Really, I have absolutely no words. I don't know it's... <laughs> I'm glad you like I it. I still can't believe it. <laughs> Everything is so amazingly made, it's so detailed. And now you have two labels. I've got my label inside, yeah. and then we have the coronary. Wow. But it didn't deserve the Granary label until I was done. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, yeah, I better wait on this one. Oh my god. Daniel, you did it absolutely amazing. Oh, thank it's, you. It's oh, really, you like it. really, really amazing. <laughs> and it looks so. Mmm. It's close. Did you make it for my hand? Because I feel like it's yeah. made already for my oh, hand. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Even it smells like Valium Buff Yeah, See, yeah. <laughs> See yeah, there's a secret to that one too. Mm. Really, it's, uh, it's amazing. How you made all this? Wow. He 
from the details. Oh, of course. It's see, amazing. See all the little scratches? These yeah. are, you can see that. All these, look at the front of this. All these scratches on the front. Oh, every single dent, scratch, ding, all of these are there. You can look at the, the poster and see them. The really? Yeah. The, oh, there are wow. all there, even the smaller ones. Wow. Actually, I was looking at the back. Yeah, yeah. this, yeah. Yeah. It's really amazing. Now you have to see how it sounds. I have to. <laughs> Ready. I'm ready for the show, for the concert. This is the big moment, isn't it? Yep, yeah, this is the big moment. I'm ready. Had to iron the shirt. I attempted to iron the shirt. <laughs> I did an okay job. Ooh, it's still kind of hot. It'll be okay. There we go. Ready? He's excited? I am very excited. I'm ready. I'm ready for the show. Give me the phone. I got the bag ready to go. hardships but like the best day of your life? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. How did you feel watching him like play? Oh, that was amazing. Like that when the progeny really started, it was just like, oh, wow. Yeah, it sounded good. I was so happy that it sounded good. Yeah. It's also been like in the past one of your favorite concertos, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, oh, I've listened to that so many times. 
<laughs> me too. Okay. I had the obsession with this concerto, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. And now to be able to play on this violin, oh, this yeah, concerto. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, really? That's right. I was happy. And the energy. Yes. The in concert. Oh, no. oh, but you know, I was kind of a bit crazy to play on this violin after only a couple of hours of trying. <laughs> I was crazy. And you know, I was just realizing in the middle of the second part, like, oh, I understand this violin quite good. It's great. You know, it's, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's just feeling like home. Did you have a chance to practice with the violin last night? No, last night I was watching the violin. I was in my bed in the hotel. I was watching the violin. And, you know, I couldn't play on it because everybody was sleeping. So it wasn't a good, good idea. But I was, you know, trying and. I was amazed. I was looking at every every part where the seal was. Oh, the original yeah, yeah, seal was yeah, in the back yeah. of the violin, which is amazing. <laughs> I was looking everywhere. I was smelling the violin. Yeah. It smells amazing, really. But no, I didn't practice. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I left for today because I said, like, okay, uh, for me, this concerto, I played it a thousand times. So I said, oh, it wouldn't be difficult. But actually, it wasn't difficult. Only the first bars. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a new violin, it's very big. Yeah, big. Yeah, it's big very violin. big, it's a very big yeah. sound. There's a magic stuff, really, in this violin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what you put uh, there. More than you know. <laughs> <laughs> really, I don't know what to put there, but it works fantastic, really. It's wow. I'm glad. It's, it's one of the best these days. I think it was. That was amazing. <laughs> actually a center you know of, of violin making and you know what's really nice is to think that being here is actually where you know Amadi was and Stradivari yeah. was and Guarneri was and yeah. you walk down some of these streets like I don't know if you've been up the street here like 300 meters there there was Stradivari's home the same one that you'll see in the hill book when you open it oh, yeah. it's right here right up the street where yeah, he was to, married with his that. first wife also, Cremona happens to bring a lot of people also through that you get to meet new people and musicians and, you know, yeah. come through. It's really, really nice thing. 
you know, you should consider uh, spending some time in some of the other shops, you know, traveling around and just, oh, you know, yeah. but they usually most, most violin shops would be more than happy to have you, you know, showing interest in, you know, coming into a shop and working, oh, yeah. you know, for a couple of months maybe, yeah. or, but it's up to you, it depends on your time and, yeah. you know, economically how possible oh, it is yeah. also. <laughs> I never thought I was going to be here. Yeah, I didn't know how I'd react to that. That was a lot to take in. It really was. This girl posted, <clears throat> violin girl posted some picture on here, the one that just added me. Have to start teaching you some Italian if you plan to come back. If I can be in Cremona, that's where I'd like to be at. I just felt right. And I don't feel like I belong many places, but that felt nice. Get rid of the cars and everything first I want to do and start uh, paying off some bills. What does Strad style mean to you? Well, makes me think of it, it, it makes me think of the violin world even more so than just Stradivari. I think I'm trying to attain Strad style. <laughs> I'm trying to attain, and so are many other people, unfortunately. So I have to try even harder. <laughs> Because it's not easy. It's not easy to have strat style. You have to know what you're doing. <laughs> Get your stuff right. So in a way it means perfection? Yeah, in a way it does. Yeah. Yeah, it's like perfect. <laughs> to get it to the to right where it needs to be. No less and, you know, right where it needs to be. To hit the mark. <laughs> 